All righty. Um, it's a couple of minutes early, but I need to survey you guys. So first of all, can you let me know in the chat before I officially welcome everybody if you can hear me properly because we had so many problems the other night. So I would appreciate a shout out from you guys and welcome everybody. I hope everybody had a fabulous, if you're stateside, fabulous Thanksgiving. I'll do official meet and greet in about two minutes, but I just need to get an idea if you guys can hear me well. Uh, see me well and all that other good stuff. And then also, I would love to know uh, who was on the Your December Plan Part 1 webinar slash call because we had a tech problem. I want to get an idea of who heard some of this content and who didn't because I want to make this really value driven. So I'm just waiting to see if anybody can, in fact, hear me. So give me a shout out. And I see Bob and Nina. Thomas J, Lorenzo, hey, Christina, hey, good, thank you, Mina. Awesome, 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 awesome. Guys, let me know how many of you heard the training that I did the other night. Because um, I do have those slides, and I can talk about them. I kind of want to um, add to it. Christy, try refreshing. Uh, she doesn't hear me, though, so. Um, somebody tell Christy to try refreshing. Okay, so a bunch of you were... Uh, okay, so Les wasn't. Tom, Amelia was. All right, let me keep. I want to get a vibe for what percentage of you guys did hear that. Okay, Sandy wasn't. Cool. Sandy, I'm so upset I didn't see you in Vegas. Just devastated. Hello, Ron. Hey, Ron, I'm going to need some more concentrate, babe. I'll give you a call. Uh, let's see. Joy juice, as I call it. Okay, Sherry was not on. Okay, Bob was not on. All right, we're getting a vibe. Greg was on. Okay. So what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to cover some of that content, but I'm going to add some more to it. And I also want to, um, uh, I, I want to cover a couple other things. So first of all, good evening, everybody, and welcome. My name's Diane Hockman. Um, I'm going to be your host tonight for your December plan. I'm kind of over here all by myself, and you guys know how I don't like that, but we're going to do it for a little bit, and then maybe I'll have a friend or two pop over. Um, December, you know, I, I, I just want to get really straight up with you guys. Is that okay if I just, um, hey, Angel, uh, if I just, um, just, just chill out and, and just kind of get straight. I know we all just came off of a busy weekend. I don't know about you guys, but I was traveling around seeing family and stuff. It was really nice. I got to see both of my sisters and their kids. Uh, I don't get to see them both in one place very often. So that was really nice. Nice for my mom. Um, but I had so much on my heart too, business wise, because December, and I can throw up the slides. Well, why don't we turbo through the slides? You guys want to turbo through the slides that we used the other night? Then I want to talk about Facebook changes. Of course, then I want to talk about the couple things that we have going on during December. But I want to give you guys some, some real thought process. Let me ask you guys a question. Um, first of all, oh, it's too late at night for my Brits to be here because I was going to say I'm having a proper cup of tea. See, see my cute mug? It's not mine. Sarah will yell at me. It does say meow on it. Um, she'll yell at me for using it. Um, how many of you guys like are really and truly, and it's cool if you are, and if you are, jump up and down. Are you really and truly satisfied with how things have gone for 2014? Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking about different years in my, ca in my career, 15 year career, and there have been some years that have just been off the hook, uh, groundbreaking years for me. There's been other years where I've kind of um, just kind of treaded water, stayed still, you know, um, always profitable. Uh, that's my claim to fame. I didn't always make the most money. I wasn't always the fanciest or whatever, but always profitable because um, profit's my number one priority. But there were some years that were just off the hook. Like 2007, big, 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 big year. That was the year I was like, all this stuff was going on. I was exploding in the marketplace. I was buying cars, cash, um, incredible. To seven, uh, 2007, 2008, um, and then uh, around 2010, there were some changes in my business. That year I held steady, but it wasn't a particularly great year. Um, some different transitions, uh, moves this year um, will be my best year ever. I know that for a fact, and we haven't even gotten through December. So I want you guys to sit and really evaluate. Can we be business people? 
Okay, um, and guys, do me a favor. It's just a pet peeve. Stop saying hello to everybody. I need you guys to converse with me so that I can help you best, okay? So can we, I know it takes a second to back up, but can we stop saying hi to everybody? Y'all are going to see each other on Facebook in a couple of minutes. So um, I, I want to get in a, a vibe from you guys. Where are you? I mean, do you feel like you need to kick it into turbo to hit 2015? Do you feel like you're in good shape and you just need to hold the momentum? Um, I'm really hoping to get some good feedback from you guys. So. Once you guys all get done saying hello, <laughs> and I know everybody wants to say hello, and I know it was a big holiday weekend, but somebody give me some feedback. Give me a little shout out. Satisfied, looking to kick it up. Um, how has your December experiences been in the past? Um, we talked about the other day. <laughs> Bob, you know, um, you know, Christina knows, a lot of these guys know. Um, wonderful, wonderful, Bruce. I'm glad that... Uh, 2014 was your best yet. That's awesome. Um, looking for some more feedback from you guys and, and just being straight up, you know, and, and by the way, don't pick on yourself. It was a crummy year. It's okay. Everybody has a crummy year. Um, you know, I just really want to impress upon you. Uh, this is such an MLM line. I, <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not trying to impress you, but impress upon you. Because I want to impress upon you. December is everything. Okay. December is so important. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I would stand on my head if I thought I could. It would be a crazy sight. I would stand on my head to try to convince you or get you to understand how important it is. So I'm going to throw up these slides for a couple minutes. Now, here's my problem. Uh, you know what? Let me see something for a minute. When I go to the slides, I don't know if we have a technical problem. Oh, Bert is here. Let me grab Bert. Uh, and, and by the way, for those of you that are football people and I'm interrupting your football, I'm sorry, <laughs> but this is important stuff. Um, you can tell I'm not a football person. I grabbed Bert. Um, hopefully he'll come over. Um, if there's somebody else who's participating, Bob, how about you? Can you come over, Bob Miller? Um, looking for somebody who is participating in. Here comes Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey. Hey, I just want you to hear. Um, so that when I go to the slides, in case something weird's going on, is that cool? Yeah, totally cool. Yeah, and and, and I, I'm pretty sure almost everybody here knows the incredible Burt Bledsoe. Uh, Burt, what happened with the game? I'm I've been working. It didn't. I'm wearing. I'm not wearing my jersey right now. I'm just. I'm wearing this this shirt right now. Is that, just a, is that is a bad it, fine? Are you in mourning? I'm in mourning. Just for like. Black. Just for know. that. In the big picture, in the big picture, it's really not that big of a deal. So we're still at the top of the heap, but, and you know. But today, it is a big deal. So. But today it was kind of a big now deal. Now you know. Now you know. Let me grab Linda too. Linda, will come over. Um, now you know how uh, dedicated Bert is. That he is here while he's in mourning. Everybody, send your regards to him on Facebook. Not here. We don't need a hundred people to say, "I'm oh, sorry, Bert." Uh, I grabbed Linda too, so I'm gonna throw up these slides, but I'm gonna twist it up a little bit. I'm gonna uh, change things up a little, if you guys are cool with that, because I don't want it to be boring for people who were here, but I also don't want the people who weren't here uh, to not get a foundation. So, Bert, can you see pick uh, the screen now? Yes. yes. Excellent. I think that we're good tonight. So, all right. So. Like I said, December is just so important, okay? And we discussed the other night, and it's, it's interesting, um, especially now after Black Friday is over. And by the way, for all of you that took the Guru Code with me over the last couple of months, did you not? I mean, I'm sure that uh, the Guru Code was screaming at you all weekend as you watched what was going on out in the marketplace. For those of you that missed it, it was a course we did. We'll probably repeat it next year. We'll see. But everything runs in 90-day cycles or quarters in big business. And what I want you guys to do right now is raise your right hand and say, I run a big business, okay? I run a big business. Now, it may not be big compared to some big old corporation, but in your life, it's what's going to feed your family, whether it's doing it now or whether that's your plan, right? You want to break free and you want to have a profitable full-time home business. You have to think like a big business, okay? You can't think small. You can't think peanuts. You got to think big. So you got to look at what you know big businesses are doing, and they all run their businesses 
in 90 day cycles or what we call quarters. Okay, everybody's heard that, the first quarter profit reports, you know, the stock market is waiting to see how housing starts were in quarter two, you know, just go turn on CNBC or any business channel and you're going to hear all about quarters and 90 day cycles. So um, if you want your business to explode, you have to start thinking differently because you can literally tilt the scale. You can start to learn how many of you guys have ever felt like your business was totally out of your control? Like external forces had all of the power. I know when I was in the workforce, uh, I felt that way because right now the price of gas is very low. Bert, how much is gas by you guys? Um, I think it's like two, like two eighty or something. It's yeah, pretty... we went down to two eighty seven here, which is just unheard of. I was like driving home today. I was like, oh my gosh, two eighty seven. Now, when I had to commute to work, the price of gas impacted me. When I had to, um, you know, all the different things outside of my control were all impacting me. And in your business, you might feel like your company is impacting you, their decisions. You might feel like the uh, the group that you're running with, or uh, at the end of the call today, we're going to talk about the Facebook changes. You might feel like, you know, the Google slap controlled you, or the Facebook changes controlled you. Um, but it's time for 2015 to take complete and total control. You can control it. You can tilt the scale. And a big part of that game is to take advantage of everybody else's laziness. Okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to speak frankly tonight because, you know, guys, if you've never been here before with me, um, I don't know. Some people, <laughs> did Linda come over? Yeah, yeah I'm here. here. Linda, Linda, you'll laugh at this because Linda, Linda's been through lots with me. Linda, some people say I'm a breath of fresh air, <laughs> and some people say that I'm I'm absolutely horrible because I tell the truth. Okay, and you've seen both sides. I'm sure one day you felt like I'm the a breath of fresh air, and another day you'd be like, I didn't want to hear that truth. Is that has that been your experience over a little while, a little bit? Yeah, but I can be a lot like that too. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like you so much. You're just pretty straight up. I think we're East Coast girls. We're just straight up, like say it like it is. So, um, so everybody, truthfully, in this industry, people, there's, there's, ah, oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna say it. You know, out of a thousand people, I'm gonna just tell you the odds, and I'm gonna tell you the truth, and I'm gonna tell you how to score. Okay, out of a thousand people that are supposedly working in this profession. There's four people making money. Doesn't that sound horrible? Okay. There's four people making big money. There's probably about 30 people making some money. Okay. And then whatever's left, whatever that works out to be. I, I don't, I'm not going to do the math. Probably shouldn't have made that easier for myself. Uh, everybody else is not making money. And the simple, simple, simple reason is not because they're not smart enough or good enough or talented enough. It's because, quite frankly, they're just lazy. Okay, and, and I, you know, you can't see me raising my hand. If you can see me right now, I tell you the truth. I'm lazy. I'm exceptionally lazy. Part of the reason why I run my business the way I do is because I had to work around my laziness, and I basically learned how to skate the system. How did I do it? Well, I was a kid with ADHD that had to figure out how to pass school and all that other stuff, so I learned how to skate systems easy on. And when I started to see how this business worked, I just cracked the code and figured out. That's another marketing term. Let's make fun of how many times Diane uses a cheesy marketing term. I cracked the code and figured out how to skate the system. And here's the thing. In December, everybody else is asleep. Period. Everybody's asleep. It's, it's done. Thanksgiving has come. Everybody is done. They're not going to be paying attention. Yeah, they might set up their little turbo poster to post junk in Facebook groups, etc. But the reality is that nobody's working, and that's why you can score so big in December. Now, guys, everything runs in sales cycles. Okay, everything runs in sales cycles. And the other night, and I can give you the recording of the audio, we did have a problem with the webinar. I'm not going to get really deep into this tonight, but I'm happy to give you the audio of it. I described the sales cycles that exist in big retail businesses. Okay, And you have to start to understand human buying behavior. Write that down. 
human buying behavior, which is basically when people are buying and what they're buying. Because if you know that people are buying and you know what they're buying, all you have to do is put that thing in front of them and you make money. It's really that simple. A lot of folks just, just they've been taught or they learn or they think it has to be complicated. But the reality is, and the old marketing lesson was, <clears throat> and, and some of you guys have heard me tell this before. Marketing professor, you guys ever seen, uh, Bert and Linda, you guys ever seen The uh, Apprentice or Celebrity Apprentice, you know, Donald yeah. Trump show? Yeah. And he has, they're in teams, right? He takes the, the people and he puts them yeah. in teams and he sends them out with tasks. And they have to try to beat each other with the most sales or whatever the task may be. And um, so it's like that. Imagine I took teams of you guys. You know, we have a couple hundred people on a webinar. So let's say we took teams of you guys and we split you up and we said, okay, um, go out and sell the most hot dogs. You have 24 hours, sell the most hot dogs. Okay. Most people would start to get really complicated and create all kinds of theories on how to sell the most hot dogs. We're going to get imported specialty buns. We're going to get mustard that comes from Germany. We're going to get only the finest all beef hot dogs. We're going to get this. We're going to get that. You see, and then you take a guy like Bert, who's kind of scrappy, and Bert just would find either a place where a bunch of hungry men were just getting off work or a nightclub that was getting out at 2 o'clock in the morning. He'd wheel up his cart and he'd say, hot dogs, 10 bucks a piece. And when somebody's hungry and there's hot dogs and there's nothing else, guess what they're going to do, guys? They're going to buy the hot dogs. So if you understand the cycles, and like I said on the audio I'll give you, um, I always know what's on sale. Like I could sit any given week and I could tell you what's in the Kmart flyer, the Target flyer. I can tell you what's on the front page of your supermarket sales flyer that just came out today. New sales start on Sunday here in, the, in Connecticut anyway. I can tell you exactly what's on the front cover without having seen them. And people are like, well, how do you know? Because it's a sales cycle. And the same thing goes on in this business. Just like in the big boys do, you can do it too. So there's a couple things that you need to be doing in December. Okay? And I'm going to talk about Facebook here for a minute. How many of you guys have seen that um, everybody's talking about Facebook sent out a big message that they're changing their structure in January and they're going to change how fan pages are handled? Linda and Bird, have you seen this? I have. I saw yep. it. Yep. And it's really interesting how different people um, are approaching it and how different uh, top marketers are talking about it. And I think it's interesting. Um, you know, here's the secret to my success and what we're going to be focusing on December for those of you guys that are going to be running with me. <clears throat> and any of you guys know Lisa Grossman? Yes. yes. If you guys don't know Lisa, I'll introduce you. I'll bring her out to meet you. Lisa's a multi, 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 multi million dollar global earner. Doesn't have a website. <laughs> doesn't have a. Um, she's been working on her quote unquote brand for I don't know however long, and she keeps never getting around to it because she's making so much money. She doesn't have time to play with that stuff. Uh, she's uh, similar to me. We know that the secret to everything you want, guys. Write this down. The secret to everything I want is building community. Okay? The money that you want, check this out. This is gonna this is gonna turn you guys on. The money that you want is sitting in the pockets of other people. Okay? It's sitting in the pockets of other people. If you don't meet those people, if you don't have a relationship with those people, and, and guys, the relationship doesn't even have to be two ways. If they don't feel like they know you, they're not gonna buy from you. So now that Facebook is changing their rules and they're basically saying that they're, uh, and this is like such a surprise, like, oh, wow, what a surprise. They're saying that their patrons, everybody that uses Facebook, does not like to receive a lot of commercial posts. Okay, in other words, they don't want tons and tons and tons and tons of ads and commercial offers and pitches all over their news feed. Now, isn't that kind of funny? I mean, Bert and Linda, when you think about it, that's kind of not surprising. Who likes commercials? 
Right. No, nobody. Right? right? Nobody does. So Facebook, everybody always gets so surprised. They're changing the rules. Facebook. <laughs> I know, but it's just so funny. It's like it's like hysterical, guys. When HBO launched, HB the claim to fame to HBO. Anybody remember? You know, remember when this came out? Like whatever it was, 1980 or something. HBO came out and it was like no commercials. They said pay us and you don't have to watch commercials. And millions and millions and millions of people said I'm in. Guess what? Serious Radio. Right? How many of you, I don't know if you guys have that in your car. I am thrilled to pay them a hundred bucks a year or whatever it is, 120 bucks a year. So I don't have to listen to all these stupid commercials in my car. I just want my music. So Facebook is having the epiphany <laughs> that people don't like commercials. Wow. And yet the commercials are what pay, right? What pay for, you know, Facebook. So we gotta have that. So they've decided that they're gonna crack down. And basically, they're not going to let people post things that are solicitous. I don't even know if that's a word. In nature. Okay. Solicitous in nature. They're saying, unless you pay us for running a commercial, running your ad, okay, we're going to start making sure that you can't do that stuff. So everybody who spent all this time working really hard on fan pages, and everybody knows how I feel about fan pages, <clears throat> and if you don't know, I'm not a big fan of the fan pages, everybody who worked really, 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 really hard on building up their fan page, right, because everybody thought that's what they were supposed to do, isn't that what they told you? Now, everybody who has a fan page is literally obligated to pay if you want to get any of your stuff seen. It's kind of messed up, isn't it? Yeah. Me, I just focused on building a community on the easier side, which was on my profile, because it's much easier to meet people and build community there because there weren't as many restrictions or hurdles to jump over. And they're not going to restrict anything about pro. I mean, obviously, if you're putting spammy stuff up, but let me ask you guys a question. And I'm going to get back to this slide. Does anybody think that the new rules are going to impact my business at all? No. There is no. Right? Service says, eh. Diane's going to do just fine because I focus on meeting people and building community. Yes, I have a fan page. Yes, there's people over there. Yes, I will continue to post to it. Yes, I have community over there. But my focus was never on the venue. My focus was on the people. So for December, I want you guys to write this down. See, because that change is going to impact a lot of people. I don't know about you guys. I barely spend any money on advertising. I don't need to um, because I understand community. But for those of you that maybe don't understand that yet, if you want to get anything seen, you now have to pay to play. And I don't know about you guys, but if you're not making the kind of profits you want yet, you probably don't have a big budget. So Guess what just happened to you? Not so good. Not so good. Which is why during the month of December, your biggest focus has to be meeting people, building relationships, and building community. Anybody that's making any money, check this out if you don't believe me, go look. Anybody that's making any significant money over time, I'm not talking about, oh, they had a quick hit for 90 days. Anybody that's making any significant money over time has a following and a community. And by the way, anybody can do it, including people like Lisa who can barely run her stuff and doesn't even have a capture page, and Diane Hockman who breaks pretty much anything technical she ever goes near. So it's kind of interesting that we go, we're doing a webinar and we can get hundreds of people to show up. But people who have been busy <laughs> trying to spend money and buy their success can't get any people to show up to anything. So meeting people, it's my biggest focus. It's always my biggest focus, but on December, I'm going to take it to a whole nother level. I encourage you to as well. By the way, meeting does not mean signing them up, convincing them, having weird talks with them. I notice that you're living in North Dakota. Is it cold there? That's weird, guys. It's just weird. <laughs> Okay, normal, everyday, meeting people, seeing what they're up to, seeing how you can help them out. 
inviting them to things that might help them, sending them over things. And yeah, many of those things will involve things that are paid. So you certainly can make commissions and make money. Everybody goes, you're just meeting people. How do you make money? Well, I seem to be doing okay. <laughs> So, um, so meeting people. It has to be at the forefront because my mentor taught me many, many, many years ago, your security sits in your network. It doesn't sit in your program. I hope your program's stable, but it doesn't sit in your program. It doesn't sit in your upline. It doesn't sit in your product, right? I, I, I remember clearly early on, in fact, my friend Ron's here, we were marketing a great product. It was selling like hotcakes, and then the government went, oh, we don't think this is safe anymore. We'd like to outlaw it. And all of a sudden, all of this business went just down the toilet. It was gone in a minute. So your security is not in your products, not in your programs, not in your upline. Your security is in your network and the relationships that you have with that network. And I'm not talking about everybody's your best friend. I'm not talking about everybody's on your Christmas card list. I'm talking about business colleagues. Next one. Okay, the other thing I'm focusing on, this is just me, in December is I uh, recently was out in Colorado and we were having a bit of a mastermind. I was there with Bert and a bunch of bunnies and a bunch of other smart people and one of my colleagues said that one of his favorite techniques is to do a brain dump and so I said alright I'm going to do a brain dump and I sat on the plane on the way home and the group that I'm going to be working with they're doing this tomorrow is I just sat down and I made a list of everything that I could create a piece of content about that I knew something about no matter how simple no matter how dumb no matter how much I thought that everybody already knows it I just sat there and kept writing and writing and writing and writing and writing everything that I knew that would help someone out I'm up over 300 now I promise you by the end of this week I probably will have a thousand topics that I can create pieces with. That's my brain dump. And no matter how new you are, no matter how inexperienced you might be, or very experienced, most of the people I saw that weren't here have a bunch of experience. If you would do a brain dump and then actually take action during December, like your life depended on it, and you put that content together and you flooded the marketplace so that you were everywhere, so that everybody was going, who is that guy? Who is that girl? They're everywhere. And if you made it your focus and function during the month of December to meet as many people as humanly possible and build and create community, what would happen is by the time January rolls around, you would have some serious traction the ability to invite people to presentations, the ability to show people different products and services, and your cash register would be ringing. Now my cash register rings every single day, guys. I've been doing this for a very long time, but I am dead on committed to taking it to a whole nother level because I know after 15 cycles like this, this is my 16th cycle, I know that my 2015 depends on the work that I do right now not in January not in February not in March it's right now because otherwise I don't set off remember I said it was cycles and 90 day cycles I won't set off my 90 day cycle properly because by the time March January February, March April rolls around second quarter the beginning of second quarter I'm gonna see the fruit heavy-duty fruit of what I did now and that fruit is going to happen at exactly the right time because springtime is when everybody wakes up you have a little week and a half window in January where people are hot to buy but as soon as they go they go back comatose by mid-January this will set you up to have your name your face your image your brand your community everywhere by the time everybody truly comes out of their cocoon and wakes up and then it's over it's over and I can show you person after person after person that has done this um, in fact many people that you know out there have been in my December intensives before we're gonna talk about that in a minute <clears throat> if you need help doing this you can do it on your own doesn't matter to me but um, 
you know, there's a lot of names that you know that have been through this class and been through this experience. It's the fifth year I'm doing it. And I'm telling you, I sound so harsh tonight, Bert. <laughs> Linda, I'm sorry. I'm just like so deadly serious. Yes, and I, I know tomorrow is December 1st. And I know that for a lot of people, I have to get in their face tonight. Because, guys, if you don't do this, there is no other way. It's like the rings of fire. Okay, Bert, can you attest to this? How <clears throat> you went to work like a madman and you were working and working and working and working and doing daily coaching and doing this and doing that and doing webinars and doing calls and doing, you know, all this stuff. How long did it take you, truth, straight up, of doing this type of work to hit critical mass so that people were starting to come to you? How long did it take? I mean, total, a while. That I, I because I didn't really, you know, I guess it, it was definitely, it was like a, I think when there was a point where we, like, literally, we, we were able to, like, calculate because we could look back at, like, a specific date and say, okay, this is when I started to, like, really go. And there, there's been several different, uh, like, pushes, and it really, it took about, it took about 90 days for me to, to really, maybe even longer, mm -hmm. to get, to get the snowball, like, really, going to where it was like critical mass. Yeah. People think that it just happens overnight, right? Because that they just see, because what you described, this is the crazy part, because what you described, working right now and then being all of a sudden you're seen in, in week seven, that's, all the work now is what you don't, you don't see that critical mass until like that way out there. That's what people lose the sight because they get all excited in that first week of January when that fizzles out. Then all of a sudden they get, you know, it's like kind of like that letdown, like, oh, it didn't work. But they don't realize if you just keep on doing what you were doing, that, boom, it pays off down the road. What's interesting, Bert, is when you did this, and I remember, because I remember you calling me and me going, hey, let's count the days, I bet you. And I knew exactly how many days in you were into hardcore work, right? Right. And you didn't know about the cycles at the time. Um, you know, I hadn't taught you this and you didn't know about it yet. So if you had actually taken advantage of the natural cycles of the year, what would have happened is you would have actually exploded even faster. Now what's interesting is, I mean, I've seen people, guys, you got to understand, Bert, you've been around, and if you guys don't know Bert Bledsoe, guys, go find him. It's freedailycoaching.com. He's absolutely amazing. He's also hysterical and becoming fast. One of my, you know, just such a good friend, and I enjoy working with him so much. But you guys, you had to have seen when Bert started taking this on, you know, he just knew he needed to become more visible. And he went to work doing that. And it wasn't fancy. In fact, it really wasn't pretty at all. <laughs> okay? Um, and I say that with deep respect. Um, mine is never very pretty. You know, I don't have fancy videos. I don't have fancy photos. I don't have all this branding gunk that everybody tells you that you need to have. But what's really funny is when it started to happen, all of a sudden, it's like really great. Bert's been like in the industry for a little while. He's starting to see some success. And then people like started calling him legend. <laughs> and people were like, Bert Bledsoe's a legend. He's this. And, he, and it was so funny because all of a sudden, they started to separate themselves from him because he had risen up out of the crowd. And all of a sudden, everybody was deferring to him. And, and, and the simple reason why was because he did the work. And I'm here to tell you that, uh, you know, on the screen right now, I have buying frenzy. You can, I remember the first time Bert had a buying frenzy. He did an offer like I taught him to, and he did it, and he was like, oh, my God, and you had, like, some crazy percentage of the people that saw the offer bought. It was, like, sick. It was, I forget what the number was. Do you remember that day, Bert? That uh, one, you had, like, I, a crazy percentage. I did. Well, on the very, like the one I did, so the first time that I ever did like an offer, like I just decided to, you know, to kind of do it like how you do it. Mm -hmm. um, I did the offer and well, the very first time that I really did one like that, I did it where it was just kind of in the moment and I got a over, okay, I know it doesn't sound even possible, but I'll tell you, I got a, over 100% um, like conversion on it. Is that the one that you're talking about? Yes, and, and the irony was that that day, 
I, I had came on the on the, on your uh, webinar to spy on you. I just wanted to watch you so I could you know coach oh, you. Oh oh oh! On that day, okay. Now I know which day you're talking about. On that day, yeah, it was. I got like a. I literally t just like said, hey, you could go and do this thing. Just just as just go check it out. And literally like uh, 25 of like 32 people all went and checked it out. And then out of that, it was like uh, I don't remember what the the sales conversion number was. Something right. like. Yeah, like over 50%. I thought you were talking about another one because there was another time before that that mm -hmm. I just tried it. Like, you know, like you, we were doing a training and I was like, well, I probably could do that. Like in the back of my head, I thought like, oh, I could do that. And then one day I was doing a, a group like training and it dawned on me that I could do an offer and I just made the offer and that was the one where I got like over 100%. Because everyone got took it, and then more people they told people about it like right away, and more people were like, "Hey, we want." I remember do that. that one. Yep. That, so they're both. They're just it's and I get so excited because it's so it it's so funny because every time I tell the story, it seems ludicrous to me when you tell it. Like you're, I remember calling and being like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! It worked!" And then you're like just like deadpan like. It's like the like Abbott and Costello, like this like the serious guy and the like funny guy, and I'm like running around like the clown, like all excited, and you're like all straight faced. You're like, uh, yeah, that's why I told you to go do that. <laughs> like, uh, why do you think I'm doing webinars about that subject every week? Because it works. You know what I thought was? It was simple. Bert just pulled up his hot dog cart in front of a bunch of hungry people, and he cut to the chase. See, guys. And I, I, I want to get to tell you guys about what we're doing this month because it's a really big deal and we have a couple spots left. But here's the thing. If you don't build community, okay, if you don't meet people, and I, I, so many of you guys are going to groan right now, okay, if you don't meet people and you don't build community, okay, if you don't do that, okay, and if you don't get your stuff out there so that everybody knows your name, then what happens is you can never create a buying frenzy. Or if you want to, it's going to cost you so much in advertising that you're giving away a huge massive. You have to either be playing very big ticket. You can sell things that are three, four, five thousand dollars and more. Yes, you can win. Or you have to be doing it in extreme volume. And you have to find a source of traffic that converts like crazy which is very hard to do so a lot and you need to have a funnel and sales letters and sales videos and you know all of that stuff and I don't know about you guys but I was a housewife I just wanted to make some money you know I, I didn't want to learn how to do all of this stuff I have learned over 15 years and you know what I know how to do it all and I still don't and the reason why is simple. If you understand a couple of simple things, and if you get some grooming at the hand of a master. Okay, I sat with a master. He groomed me. If you get some grooming, and you stop running around chasing your tail, and you go to work, and you do the brain, because everybody, and you get your ego in check, because everybody, when I talk about a brain dump, everybody's like, I don't know anything. Nobody will listen to me. I'm not enough. Guys, you can't make money when you're thinking like that, which is why we bring my husband Larry around to work with him. He's a 25-year certified counselor. I will not reveal the names of some of the people in this industry that have taken him up on his services to help uh, help them bust through that junk. Because if you think you're not enough, you're going to lose money. Write it down. If I think I'm not enough, I'm going to lose money. I better make a change. If I think I'm not enough, I'm going to lose money. I better make a change. Guys, if you don't make a change in that area, and if you don't follow the simple directions, you know, and Bert could go off on a rant all night about following the simple directions. He was just the guy who followed the simple directions. They were pretty simple. Now, most people resist the simple directions and try like today I said to some people hey go do this this and that and everybody was like I'm gonna do it this way and I'm gonna do it this way I'm like how about you just tell six people and see if anybody's interested you know why are you you know running ads and doing videos and doing all this stuff because you can create a buying frenzy if you have community if anybody trusts you then what happens if you've built a relationship and you have some trust when you recommend something 
people tend to look. Right now, if I recommended something, and by the way, I'm, I am going to tell you about a, a thing we're doing this December, but I'm not recommending because I can't. One, I'm the teacher, so I can't recommend myself, right, because that's obnoxious. And two, it, it would be inappropriate. But let's say I came up with a product right now that I was using. In fact, I have one. Um, <laughs> I didn't send it out, but on Friday, on Black Friday, there was like a really great deal, and I didn't get a chance to send it out. It was something that I use. If I had recommended it, everybody would have bought it. Every single person on here would have gone and looked at it, and I dare say that 95% of you would have bought it. It was a $25 item, and it was something really great. So you don't have to be embarrassed about recommending things when people trust you. And that's what happened to Bert, is he built relationships and built this up and built a community. The community trusts him. So when he recommends something, and of course he takes it very seriously, as do I. I don't recommend things that suck. <laughs> Bert, I don't know about you, but I try not to recommend things that suck, you know? Right. It doesn't work out so well. So you can learn to create a buying frenzy, and that's what December is about. It's about the people and the brain dump and the creation. A lot of people think they're really busy in December. No, you're not. No, you're not. There's plenty of time in December to get all this stuff done so you can, you know, you know, absolutely explode in January. But here's the thing, and this is what I was saying before. Bert, when he did this work, what happened was he didn't know about the cycles and it was not this time of year. This is the window of the year that is like, you know, it's like a little miracle window. And every, I can show you audios of me all the way back to, I probably have an audio in 2000 of me standing on my soapbox begging people to take advantage of December. I probably have audios from every single year of me, or video, of me going on and on and on and on and on and on and on about December. And that's why five years ago, I started December Intensive, which I'll tell you about in a second. Some of you guys know about it, some of you guys are already in it. Now, here's the thing that will stop you. Is meeting people hard? Linda and Bert, is meeting people hard? No. No. <laughs> Linda, Linda, wait, tell everybody what happened. When you finally stopped resisting and you just followed a couple of little techniques, which we're not teaching tonight, how many leads were you getting a day? I mean, like, you have these crazy numbers. I'm, I'm averaging anywhere between 15 and 22 free leads a day. Like, today I got 11. You suck today. I don't know, Linda. I <laughs> have you on the webinar. So when she stopped resisting and trying to make it very complicated, and she finally said, all right, I'll do this simple thing, she was like, snap, it works. And then I said to her one day, I was on the phone with her, and I go, how many leads you get last month? And she's like, 400-something or whatever. I'm like, what? 400-something free leads. And everybody else wants to sell you the system on how to get that many leads paid. And Linda knows the system because she was taught and finally decided to stop resisting on how to get that many leads for free. It's silly. But if you have psychological resistance, you guys, meeting people is not hard. Doing a brain dump is just making a list. It's really not hard unless you do the whole I'm not enough thing, okay? Going through this cycle and creating community is not hard unless you have psychological resistance, which is why starting this past summer and now from now on, Larry's going to be involved with everything we do because there's nobody I've ever met that can break through this stuff with people as wonderfully as my husband. Don't tell him I said so. I think he can hear us upstairs, but don't tell him I said he's that good. <laughs> so, so, see, guys, if you're not doing the simple things, it's, it's because you have psychological resistance. Somebody was mean to you in third grade. And by the way, people were mean to me when I was a little kid. I was a fat little, roly-poly little kid. Everybody was mean to me. Um, you know, <laughs> Bert, I know everybody was mean to you. Linda didn't even need to leave her house to have people be mean to her. So <laughs> I could stay home and have meanness, right? So I think all of us have been through that stuff. We have some some stuff in our past that we have to get through. Um, I was very shy. Nobody believes me. Um, my husband can tell you stories about, I mean, I was afraid to order in restaurants that shy, that messed up. Um, I went through a whole, whole, I had to work on myself hard, so hard to get here today, it's not even funny. The work is easy, guys. This stuff, the psychological resistance is hard. So, there it happened. 
So <clears throat> this this was uh, this uh, original webinar was before Thanksgiving. Guys, you don't have any time to make your plan. I was saying make your plan over the holiday weekend. You don't have any time to make your plan. You have tonight because tomorrow is December 1st. And let me tell you, if you don't start on your plan tomorrow morning, what will happen is you're not going to start on it next week and you're not going to start on the week after and then it's going to be almost Christmas and you could have presents to wrap and yada, 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 yada. And it will be December 31st. And then you get to jump on the bandwagon. Somebody already added me, and if you're here, I'm sorry, no offense, but somebody already added me to a New Year's resolutions group. I don't make New Year's resolutions, guys. I don't believe in that stuff. It's called here, today, action, now. Not what I want to do, what I'm going to do, what I could have done, what I might do, what I should do. It's just here and now. Did you meet 10 people today? No, the day is lost. Okay. Did you actually create some content that will create a library that will serve you for years on end. I generate leads every day from pieces I made years ago. Did you ever take 30 days and focus in and do it like your life depended on it? Or did you wanna, coulda, shoulda? And by the way, I'm guilty of this too. I haven't made a regular true set of videos. I, I made one a couple months ago. Okay, There's work to be done and I'm about to do it in December. Okay. So for those of you that understand this, and I want you to truly understand the Facebook thing. If you have community on Facebook, you're safe. If you didn't build community, okay, you're screwed. But it's never too late. In fact, if anything, the window is now. And, and guys, everybody's going to try to sell you a new course to tell you about, you know, the changes on Facebook, you need a new course, okay? You don't need a whole bunch more stuff. What you need to do is do the fundamentals. Once you've done the fundamentals, learning how to capitalize and expand your audience comes pretty easily. You know, I can show anybody how to capitalize and expand their audience dramatically in 30 days or less. And that's what we're going to do during the month of December. So um, um, that's closed. Um, the, the other course, uh, I might open that back up, but right now it's closed. Guys, I have a couple of spots left. Truthfully, I don't even know how many. I didn't look before the call. Um, the December intensive, it's myself and Larry and a, a group of hard chargers, and we are going to work during the month of December, kicking off tomorrow evening. And by the way, all of this is recorded. You can listen to it whenever you want. It is audio. Okay? It is not webinars. You're not, you don't have to be tethered. You can dial in from wherever you are. We have international access lines, etc., etc. 20 people that I'm going to be working with, plus a couple of other students that are, you know, had access via other venues and stuff. Um, but 20 people. We're going to work almost every day during the month of December. I will be planted uh, on these sessions as well as in a Facebook group. And we are going to produce this stuff together. Okay, last year, December 10th, if I forgot, last year I did December 10th and we had over 100 participants because I used it as a promotion. I did something a little different last year and I used it as a promotion and I had, I think, 130, 150 people. So if any of you guys were in December 10th of last year and you think you know what it is, um, you don't because if you've never worked in a very small group, uh, with, you know, you know, I sound so full of myself, but with a master, I dare say I'm a multi-six-figure earner for years on end, survived all these years in the industry, and you've never worked that closely with somebody to get groomed and submitted yourself to get groomed and to do the work, um, you haven't experienced this. Okay, last year was a big group. It was awesome. It was off the hook. We met almost every day. This year it's going to be a lot more intense, it's a lot smaller, um, and it's myself and Larry, uh, different days. Um, I'm going to be focusing on the how to meet the people, how to build the list and the brain dump, and Larry's going to be focusing on uh, resistance, why we resist that, which is very simple. And what I did, I'll back up because you can't buy this alone right now, but um, I'm doing two workshops during the month called Personal Newsletter Power. Um, if any of you guys are on my email list, you are now if you weren't before. When you register to this, 
we're going to give everybody a personal newsletter power workshop, okay? And in that workshop, we're going to be learning how to set up your personal newsletter. Guys, I'm not talking about an internet marketing list with a bunch of canned letters. We're talking about your personal newsletter, which is always going to be smaller than a cold market list, but it will become extremely responsive. And we're going to write your first 10 letters together. You're going to learn what are the 10 types of letters. You're going to actually write them. You're going to learn how to do broadcasts to your list. And you're going to learn how to be able to write your list and write offers and invitations, etc., for the rest of your career. Um, this is an extremely valuable component. Um, it's pretty major stuff. So let me close with this, and then I'll come back and see if there's any questions. I'm not going to talk about that tonight either. Um, and I, I, I don't know if Bert wants to say a few words. He certainly can. Linda's worked with me a lot. Um, guys, the link for December Intensive is dianehockman.com forward slash di. Again, these were uh, from the other night. Um, I am, uh, you might have seen a slide about the protege program. Um, I do take some one-on-one -on -one students. I take them for a quarter. Uh, it's not a mistake that it's a quarter. So it's January, February, March. Um, I probably, uh, I didn't uh, get around to talking to some of the people that expressed an interest, but if there's anybody who wants to talk about that, I was giving December for free, so you'd get four months for the price of three. Um, it's a little more expensive. December intensive is $497. It includes the personal newsletter workshop, uh, personal newsletter power workshop. That was $197 by itself. So it's $497, and you are working very, very, very close up with Larry and I for the whole month because it's designed specifically with a rotating schedule. Not everybody can make it. You know, we have people in Australia, and we have people in the UK, and we have people in the States. Not everybody can make it to all the calls. So on any given call, usually the first couple of days, everybody's around. But after that, there's usually three, four people. So I'm really working with people. Um, I'm really in getting the stuff out of your head that you need out, you know, as far as that brain dump, helping you with it. I'm really going to be, uh, and I hate using the, f the, the future, but starting tomorrow, I really will be creating my content and letting you watch what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and how I build community and how I flirt with the people in my community and draw them closer and make them feel uh, really at home and really comfortable and really like they know me. Guys, I have the most responsive list by far um, out there, okay? People are, you know, I, I blink and say I'm doing a webinar and get 500 people in the thing. Um, I blink and say I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I can get people to do the thing. I'd like to teach a select group how this works. It's 30 days, it's hardcore, Facebook group, daily phone sessions, um, you can write in, you know, in the Facebook group anytime you want. Um, I will be living with you for a month. So that's what's going on. And I hope that you guys um, heard my message to you tonight, my big message is you must meet people and you must build community unless you have about thirty thousand dollars to drop right now and if you do contact me directly and I will refer you to people that can help you with that if you're ready to hit big advertising if you're in that position I will refer you to those people that can help you but if you are like I was and you're looking to start your business with a bootstrap budget, you're dead serious, you're ready to do the work, you're willing to do uh, you know, what I say and follow simple instructions, but you need to do it with some help and without dropping that kind of money. Because guys, people think I'm against advertising. They hear me say that I'm not against advertising, I'm all for advertising. If you could advertise and turn a profit, I'm going to do it all day long. But the average home business person that just got started, they're going to dump a lot of money before they learn how to be skilled at it. And so most of them, what happens is they get scared in the middle of it and they freak out and they bolt. 
and so they we lose them from the profession. And so I'm here to show everybody, anybody can create community. It doesn't have to be that big. Anybody can have a personal newsletter. Guys, you can be full-time with a personal newsletter of 1,000 people. If you can do the work and build that list like your life depends on it, you can be full-time. Now, are you going to be full-time rich, multi-six figures? No. But you can be full-time, free of a job, so that you can focus on this. That's not hype. That's reality. I've seen it time and time again. Once you can get yourself extracted from the matrix then you can turn around and master all of these different skills um, you know I don't know Bert you got anything to say because I'm, I'm I'm like talking out I just you know I you know when you talked about the the timing of when I had you know started to do this was in a different time of the year and the mm -hmm. crazy the crazy part is this the the December intensive last year is was my first like you know I had been kinda of checking out what you were doing I was like one of those people that were like on the edge I was like what is she doing like it's it must be there's gotta be some like there must be some things that she's not telling people and then and I went to a webinar and you were talking about this December intensive and I was like alright this is like a way that I can totally like see what she's doing right like this is the way I can see it and so I, I checked it out but I didn't really totally, totally utilize everything, right? Then I started to see people were getting results, and by the time I started, to, then I made the connection was when I was like, okay, I don't know. That was literally last December, last December. The first thing that I did with you was the last time that I didn't follow the directions. Okay. <laughs> and I want to abridge that by saying, I want to abridge that by saying, I thought... So it's been almost a year since I like I didn't follow those directions. I thought I could get fancy, and I told this story, so I'm not going to retell it tonight, but I thought I could get fancy, and I asked for some instruction on something totally unrelated to marketing. And even after taking the direction, I was like, oh, thanks for the idea, but I have my own better idea. And that, <laughs> that made me, that made me, that left me cold and frustrated. Let me just say that. But what I want to share really is this, and it's this is a powerful, and I know that there's just a couple hundred people probably here. I don't know what the number is, and it doesn't really matter. But I know that you guys will, that you guys can keep this to yourselves for a little bit. But I want to share um, how change, how much this has really changed the the overall picture. Just plugging in and literally following some simple directions, and and really just following the directions, not adding any fancy bells and whistles and coming up with like a, another program or another matrix multiplier thing off of this just follow the directions move forward um, and I you know I know Diane knows this and so I'm just telling everyone on the phone or on the, the hangout so just guys I don't want like don't I don't want everyone to go crazy in the chat about it and I don't want you to post it all over Facebook right I'm telling you guys tonight because I want to share this with you that this is a big deal um, in, in our family what we did. Um, what we've been able to do, you know, Diane asked earlier, like, who's had a good year? And I know there's a lot for me to learn, but we did a pretty good year. And um, as, as a, some of you may know by now that, uh, you know, I've, we won some prizes, a computer and Apple TVs. And, and Diane literally flew out to our house and came to Goat Village and stayed for a weekend, right? That was a prize. Um, but the biggest prize of the whole deal is that uh, just about a week ago, maybe now 10 days, was it 10 days, Nick? About 10 days ago, uh, my wife was able to um, uh, stroke a check and pay off our car. Woo! And, wow. Yeah, so that's a, that's a pretty big deal, you know, it changed our life. And it's not, you know, we're I'm not, I don't have a Lamborghini, guys, you know what I'm saying? I just, we drive a Prius, and guess what? It's not a brand new Prius. It's a 2009 Prius, right? So it's not like we went out and bought like, and it wasn't like we already had the car before I started doing this. The point is that we earned enough money to pay our bills and go above and beyond our bills and pay off like a main bill. And what did that do? That frees up that, that payment that we were making to be able to do something else like pay off our house or make a bigger, better Goat Village Deluxe, right? Like, I mean, think of what we think of how big we see. Linda knows, right? She's seen. I want to come to Goat Village. I'm yeah. saying, I want to meet Pork Chop. I mean, imagine what another. Imagine, imagine what your car payment would look like every month 
extra if that's what you had because that's what we have. So that's, you know, that's a life-changing experience. And that's because I jumped in, I took direction, and I followed. This is what I did. And this is in everyone's up to make their own choice, guys, right, and gals. I just went like this. Do I want to follow the, 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 the guy that made like the $10,000 month like one time? He just did it last month. Or do I want to follow the guy that like did three years of um, whipping it up, but he's done 17 opportunities? Or do I want to just go where there's someone that's been doing it year after year after year consistently and, and seems to me is having a lot of fun, gets to, gets to go where um, their family goes, where they want, when they want. I mean, the kids are, the, their, their children seem happy. I mean, their kids even learned how to get free pizzas on the computer. I'm telling you what, if my kid learns how to get free pizza on the computer, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the lifestyle that I was looking for. I was looking for, and that's the business uh, mentor and, and training that I was looking for, was someone that I knew was doing it. And guess what? I'm here to say that there's no hype, there's no huff and puff. It's a real deal. In a couple, in like two weeks from now, when the check or the little thing comes in the mail, you know, when they mail you the paper that's like, here, this paper stands for you own the car. Like, that day... You can believe me. Then on that day, you guys can go crazy and do it on the Facebook because we'll take pictures, right? That's a testament to the fact that um, I've been able to work with both Larry and Diane. So you know, that's I don't know. I don't know if that's um, you know, it's not. I, I'm not trying to tell that to to do anything other than show guys that this is a real deal and that if you're if and guess what, if you're a person like me. That wanted a low cost, no cost solution because I didn't have, I didn't have like twelve bucks to rub together to do paid advertising, right? I had nothing. I had a zip, right? I was like, okay, like this is it. I don't. I, I just need to meet more people. Can I learn how to do that? That's what I learned how to do, and it's been, and I think it's been working good. So, let me clarify a couple of things for folks. Thank you, Bert. Uh, one. There's nothing else. The only thing that you will need to purchase if you don't already have it in order to function with everything I'm going to teach you is an autoresponder. Okay, I personally use a Weber. Uh, you can use Get Response. You can use whatever you want. If you don't own one yet, please ask someone to buy it from them because those are commissionable things. Buy it from me. Buy it from Bert. Buy it from Linda. Whoever you know, whatever. Um, let's get you a link because we will earn six dollars a month on that autoresponder and we need our six dollars right six dollars you know what when you got hundreds of people buying something and you get six bucks it adds up so one there is nothing else to buy okay because a lot of times you buy a course and then you get inside and you find out that they expect you to have a big advertising budget or this isn't that there is nothing else the one tool that you need in life <laughs> to function on the internet is an autoresponder period okay Two, for those of you that purchased the personal newsletter power, because I did offer it a little while ago and then I traveled a lot and I let everybody know I was going to do it in December. If you already purchased it, but you'd like to upgrade to this, you'd only have to pay the balance, which would be $300, because you've already paid me $197. By the way, I mentioned on the last call, if there's anybody that purchased that that wants to withdraw, you know, because it's taken me a couple weeks to deliver it. If you want to cancel, I'm happy to refund you because I have a lot of people. So if there's anybody that's just not a good time or whatever, or, or you wanted to do it in November and, we, and I didn't get it done because I had to travel to Colorado and Vegas, let me know. I'm happy to refund you. <laughs> when have you ever heard anybody say that? Please let me refund you. I need the space. Um, so if anybody you know is worried about that, um, let me know. We're going to do uh, at least two sessions sections I should say because it's a two night deal or two afternoon deal um, that's about a four hour course that one okay it's gonna take us four hours it's gonna take us about an hour to learn the whole setup and philosophy and then we're gonna write all those letters or at least learn the format for them during the other hours so um, if you purchase that and you'd like to do the whole December intensive to have like work all month it's three hundred dollars difference you need to send me an email to diane at dianehockman.com and let me know and I'll invoice you for the balance. Now that's supposing we have room left. Okay, I know a couple people have already got it. Um, guys, this course is limited. Um, I don't want it to be a lot of people on purpose, but please don't sign up. And it's not a course. It's it's I don't even know what to call it. It's it's I called it an immersion. 
And I think, yes. and I think, because that's really what it is. Everybody started calling everything immersion after I made that up a while ago. Guys, it is, it's an immersion. It's, it's breathing with us. Guys, if somebody takes you in the pool, right, to learn how to swim, they literally are kind of like going like this with you. Their, their arms on top of your arms showing you how to stroke, showing you how to breathe, calming you down. That's what this is. It's, it's kind of weird. But what happens every year is people sign up and then they disappear. And four people end up getting $10,000 worth of consulting. Uh, it, it's, it's crazy um, because the, everybody just goes off on their way. So by December 31st, it's called, you know, the name of the game is Stay Alive, Last Man Standing Wins. So whoever is diehard is going to win. Bert was a diehard. Linda's a diehard. Um, I, you know, I couldn't get Linda, you know, I was like shaking her. Linda, get off my arm. Get off my arm. You know, she, she's like, no, I'm learning, damn it. You're going to teach me. Um, <laughs> you're stuck. You're stuck. <laughs> you are. You're stuck. <laughs> so please I'm going to kidnap you, Diane. Yeah. Well, we're not far from each other. Come on up. Come on up. Um, guys, I am not here. There really are only so many spots. If you get to dianehockman.com forward slash di and it says it's sold out, it is sold out. Um, if you are somebody who already purchased, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the PNP, the personal newsletter power, I'll do my best to accommodate you if you want to upgrade. Um, please don't, I'm not doing time limit and quantity limit to jack you guys. Please don't buy this if you don't intend to follow through. Okay, pl please don't. If you're going to do the whole I'm too busy thing, please don't. Please don't. Um, you know, you don't have to be there on every particular session, but you got to do the work every day. Whether you talk to me live or whether you talk to me on Facebook, it doesn't matter. you got to do the work. Okay? And the work's not hard. Uh, here, watch. Ready? Let's see if I got any power in this sucker. Are you in a different office? I'm downstairs. Yeah. Normally there's like a purple like psychedelic yeah, purple. background. Oh, no, that's upstairs in, in my office. Okay. So here we go. Ready? Hey guys, it's Diane from DianeHockman.com. And I just wanted to share a couple of ideas with you today about sales cycles. Blah, 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 blah. So if you understand how sales cycles work, you really can make a lot of money. If you like this and you want some more information, go over to DianeHockman.com. Put your name and email in so I can get you on my personal newsletter. I'll send you out some great stuff. And if you need me personally, just send me an email at Diane at DianeHockman.com. Voila. I just made a video. Now, obviously, I did the blah, 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 blah in the middle. It's really not that hard. Then watch this. I'm going to take this out of there, and I'm going to put it, and I'm really not going to upload this because I didn't make a real video, but I just put it in here, okay? And if I want to, I can pull it into a video editing thing and put my you know link down the bottom or whatever. Otherwise, I could just hit the button. See, it's coming up right now. I could just hit the button. And I could easily and quickly upload this to YouTube and voila, I have a piece of content. And then we'll be learning about how to spread that content and get it going. Guys, content builds upon itself. And what I mean by that is, you ever go on YouTube and see that there's related videos? You guys know what I mean, right? Related videos. Yeah. So if you make a lot of videos about a lot of topics because you do a brain dump, okay? And I'm not even talking about all the, you know, keywords and the this and the that that a lot of people know about, the SEO and this is that. I'm talking about you go do a little research, I'll show you how, and you make videos that are going to show up as the related video to a very popular video. You can be getting scores of views super easy. And then what happens is the more videos you make, the more people get exposed to more of your content. And the next thing you know, you get an email. Bert, have you ever gotten this email? I stayed up all night watching you. You ever get, you got that one? Yes. Right? I, I love you, Bert. I stayed up all night watching your videos. It's been absolutely incredible. And I just, I just really want to thank you because you've changed my life. You're going to get that email, guys. And when that email comes, you know that you're hitting critical mass. And then you start to get lots of stuff. And then they call you a legend on Facebook. Right, Bert? <laughs> and, then they, and, then you begin, and that's how you become a legend. A legend. Now, Bert and I were out in Vegas last weekend watching The Legend, so I always think it's kind of giggly. Um, but that is really, I mean, it's that simple. So, oh, the other thing that you might want, but it's not required because you can study this on something or hold it yourself, 
Uh, by the way, you don't need one of these video cameras. I just happen to use it because I like to flip the thing. You can use your webcam. You can use your cell phone camera. Bert's got a GoPro with go with uh, with added goat cam action. Um, you, know, it, you don't need anything fancy. If you don't have a smartphone or an iPad or anything uh, and a laptop with a webcam, then you have a challenge. And even then, I can show you how to make video without your face on it at, for free. So there is no cost. The question is, are you willing to dump your brain and are you willing to let go of your ego and reach out and help someone? Because maybe you're just going to teach someone how to copy and paste. Maybe you're going to teach someone what a Google Hangout is. You think everybody knows. Most normal people, go out on the street and ask people, when's the last time you were on a Google Hangout? They don't know what it is. Heck, Bert, we were at that big MLM thing last weekend. How many people in that room do you think even know what Google Hangouts are? Not that many. No. Not that many. I mean, we all, in this group, we all know more than all of these people. So the question is, why won't you release it? And if you do, can you go out and meet some people and say, hey, I just made something that might be really helpful to you? It's not that hard. The question is, do you have resistance? And that's why we have Larry to work with you. So... Linda, any any thoughts before I? I'm pretty much done with everybody. No, I already started, Diane. <laughs> well, I, did, I made my I started my list and I've already cut 19 videos. So. Oh wait, come on! You're cheating. It's not December first. Come on, that's what? wrong. It's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I thought I thought Diane was already getting a step ahead when she started filming. I was like, what? She's already gonna have one already <laughs> made tonight. That's like she's <laughs> already getting a step ahead. Let me ask you, Linda. Were any animals hurt in your cutting 19 videos? Did you, no, shed, blood? No. Did you shed any no. blood? Did 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 any did the sky fall down? No. Okay. Okay. And this was a girl that not that long ago didn't want to do all this stuff, and now she's just like like totally at ease out chatting with people and stuff like that. Guys, the other thing that's great about this group and about working like this. Here's one of the most important things that you can use me for, that people don't use me. I'm always fascinated with some of the different groups that I have. You take a conversation, like especially if it's a chat conversation from Facebook, and you show it to me. And I can tell you 20 different ways that you can change your languaging to become more attractive to have people want to work with you. Because it's all in that practice. It's all in that practice. So taking it and like let's say you talk to someone and you meet them and it doesn't go well. Copy and paste it, put it in the group so I can take a look at it and I'll show you exactly where the challenge is. We'll change your wording. Right? Today I had a girl write to me, Hi Diane, you're a rock star. If I could show you a way to make some extra to diversify your income around what you're already doing, something like that, I could read it to you. And I was like, You gotta be kidding. You know, it was just really, she wonders why she's not getting a good response. So I was really nice, and I reached back out to her and told her that that line is really great in public, but not so great within the community, in the marketing community. And we just switched it up. The next thing you know, we were talking about where she's from, and my cousin lives there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, Barb. Uh, Barb is asking any possibilities to video creation without Camtasia. Yeah, there's Screencast-O-Matic. There's jingproject.com. Uh, there's all kinds of screen capture software that's free. You don't have to buy the $300 Camtasia, whoever it is, however much it is this week. Um, yeah, I just, cut a, I just cut a video. You can cut videos if you have a camcorder on your computer and using YouTube. I mean, it's not as fan. If you want to do editing, you can't, but you can cut a video that way. Yeah, yeah. So, but she wants to do tutorials. So she. Oh, needs okay. You know, it's Screencast-O-Matic, Screener, S-C-R-E-E-N-R, -E -E and uh, Pin uh, Jing Project, three different ways uh, to do it. And then, yeah, Penny's saying, you know, Movie Maker, that's for editing videos. That's not for creating screen capture tutorial type videos. Well, um, so. and I just would like to throw this out here. I'm just saying, right here, what we're doing, free. You can do it on a Google Hangout, and you can do screen share now. Yeah, yeah. Um, Barb, yes, you absolutely can upload them to YouTube, and Bert, what Bert just said is true. Use a Google Hangout. You don't need to have anybody watching. Use the screen share, and then it's on your YouTube channel as soon as you're done. Just broadcast live with the screen share, and boom. So uh, 
And that's my kind of solution. I like that. It's automatic yeah. that way. You don't have to wait for it to upload. I mean, it, like five minutes or two minutes yeah. or something, but then it's yeah. there. You can't optimize a hangout, a recorded hangout, as well as you can a straight uploaded video. But guys, for sheer volume, there's so many different ways to spin the content to get eyeballs on it. Um, so if you're not looking for search eyeballs, but you're looking for uh, community eyeballs, people that you've met and people that you've gotten to know, it's very easy to utilize those uh, and very effective. And, and Bert's a prime example because he does a hangout every single day. That's his content. Well, the fun part is that, you know, the reason I say go, like, do something like on the free hangout is because, like you mentioned, you're like, oh, well, Bert has a GoPro. Like, I won the GoPro. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I won the GoPro because I learned how to do the free tools. That's it. I started doing all the free stuff. I had a phone already. I was like, okay, I'll make it on my phone. When I first started, I had the little, like, you know, the little, like, the camera. Like, it's like a little bubble with the, like, the little camera that, like, has a USB cable that plugs into your PC. That's what I had. I don't know what I was doing. I was like, hey, look, how do you make it? Yeah. I, just, but it I don't was, have a GoPro. I don't have my, my cell phones in the other room, but I don't have a GoPro. Can I just, like, duct tape my cell yeah. phone? <laughs> like, I thought you can duct tape that thing in your head and you're good. Just do it this way, though, so it stays on and you're good. I thought of the funniest thing when you were saying, I don't know why, I'm just going to share this because I'm going to make it, and I'm just going to show for, for the, this is just going to be for people in December Intensive. I'm, I'll release it later, but I'll, I'll, I'll make it as exclusive as the premiere for the December Intensive. When you said the keywords, the only thing I could think of was, was in my head forever was always people used to be like, you have to get the low-hanging fruit. So tomorrow, I'm going to make a video, and you guys are actually going to see me get the low hanging fruit, okay? And it will be, I can just tell you, see? What time are you going to do that? I don't know what time, but I'll tell you it will be in there by tomorrow, so you will see it, but you'll only see it if you're actually in the December intensive, and if, if, you've, if you're familiar with my videos, which a lot of you, some of you are, I know, a few of you are at least, then you'll know that you'll, at least you'll enjoy the video, to say the very least, to say the very there you go. There you go. By the way, for those of you that in the chat, Barb was asking questions. You guys were giving tips. Go make some videos with the tips. Okay. Go dump your brain. Go dump your brain. Go. Dump. I'm gonna have like a chant or something. Brain dump. Brain dump. I think we have some fun memes or something this month with all the brain dump stuff. Um, but in any case, guys, if you have a question. Uh, that, that you can't write in the chat. Uh, actually, I didn't turn on the q and I'll turn on the Q&A in case anybody has a pressing question that you want me live. Um, and otherwise, email me. I don't know if it's locked up yet. Um, Barb, if you want to upgrade, but you have a circumstance, email me direct. I'll see what I can do for you, okay? So um, if that's something that you want, but, but you know, you hadn't pre-planned or whatever, um, let, let me see what I could do because you were faithful and grabbed uh, the PMP before you even know what was going on. So I'll see what I could do. Uh, you never know. Sometimes I can. So, um, guys, it's going to be me, Bert, Linda, Larry, uh, and, and a whole bunch of other people, and we are going to have a blast. We're going to be absolutely outrageous. We're going to build your confidence up so that, like, Bert, Bert has no worries. Um, you know, he's just fooling around with goats and Patriots things and, and, and wigs and, and, and stuff. And you don't have to be wacky like Bert. It's just his natural personality. But, guys, you got to get to the place. And if you don't have a bunch of buddies that you can link arms with and just go, I'm jumping in the pool, you know, I'm just going to do it. And you don't have a group to cheer you on. And, guys, I think you know by now, I'm pretty, like Linda was just showing me some of her letters. She's in one of my other groups. And she was showing me some of her letters. And I just, I just straightforward gave her feedback. That, that headline's too long. It's nothing emotional. It's nothing personal. It's just like that headline isn't going to work. Why don't you try this? Um, you know, that video isn't going to work. Why don't you try this? Or uh, just as recently, one of my other students, um, he was making great videos, but there was no call to action. He wasn't telling people to go somewhere or get on an email list or something. So that's the tweaks um, that you want. Because you can just sit and go another year. Because this window doesn't happen again for another year. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this a year from now. It's just my business is getting busier and busier and busier. I'm traveling more. I'm going to be in Asia a couple times next year. Um, I already have double travel this month, but that's why <laughs> that's why Larry's going to work with you when I'm traveling. Um, 
you know, it's uh, it's it's stuff. But nothing needs to hold you up in your business. It only takes less than an hour a day to get this stuff done, um, and it's a lot of fun, and it attracts people to you, and it is a money maker. Period. Over and out. It is a money maker. Um, make no mistake. When you have an audience and you have a community, and you get comfortable in your own skin, it's really easy to go just locate something to recommend. You know, something that you like, something that you use, something that you think is good. Whether it's, you know, a lot of us are in My Lead System Pro or whether it's, you know, some some MLM or this, this, and that. It, it's, it's easy. People go because you said so. And that's what I want you guys to understand. Um, Wendy, thank you. And uh, Wendy's saying, I know this benefits you financially, but it's so great that you care and want to help show us how to succeed. Uh, I said to Bert this afternoon, we were talking about stuff. I don't do December intensive for the money. I could make a lot more money without FaceTime with people. I could go sell. Um, there's always a launch or something else going on. I can pop twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars easily. Um, you guys can do the math and figure out how much I'll make on this. Um, I could easily go out and pop sales on all kinds of stuff because I built this list. But I am truly committed. This is the month of the year that I give back. Um, yeah, I gotta make some money. I gotta live. I gotta pay my bills for December. But this is the month of the year that I really look for the next group of hard chargers, up and comers. And you'd be surprised. Everybody says I'm I'm this, I'm that, I'm a hard charger. It's very hard to find hard chargers. Um, you know, it's very hard. It's very hard to find people that really want to do the work. Everybody says it. Not many people do it. So when I find them, I gotta sew into them. It's it's like an the obligatory obligation for those of you that know what I mean. I'm obligated. So the question is, do you want me obligated to you? That's it. These two, I'm obligated to. They think they think that the you know they don't realize that I kind of can't stop teaching. Them. I mean, I beat I beat the poop out of Linda one day. <laughs> I can't stop teaching her. Um, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna go. Um, if anybody needs me, look for me. Guys, those of you that are already in, tomorrow night I'm going to do an opening session at 9 p.m. Eastern on the phone. Uh, I started a Facebook group. If you have not been put into the Facebook group yet, email me now, but I'm going to email all of you as well um, and get you all that information. We're going to do a kickoff. Tomorrow night we're doing the brain dump. Okay, if you can't be on that call for whatever reason, short notice, that's okay. You can listen to the call and do your brain dump on your own, but everybody has to do a brain dump tomorrow. Okay, not Tuesday, not Wednesday, not Thursday. You need to do a brain dump tomorrow. You need to have a notebook, and you need to be pouring out of your head everything that you know. Write it down. And I'm going to continue to do it, because then we're going to create a strategy to go after this whole thing and go nuts. So, Bert, Linda, thank you. I appreciate you both more than you know. Um, Bert, I'm sorry that you're in mourning, but next Sunday is another day. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> is it, are you really wearing black? Is it black that you're wearing? I am. I really am. I was really just wearing. I'm actually okay. This is the deal. I'm really. I was. I'm wearing a, a t-shirt under here that's so ridiculously goofy that I was trying to be somewhat semi-professional on your webinar. So I wore a polo shirt, but it literally is. I'll show you guys. I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll show you guys just because it's the end of the webinar. So it's a Star Wars uh, thing, but it's Darth Potato. So it's a, <laughs> instead of so instead of Star Wars, it's Spud Wars, and it's Darth Cater instead of Darth Vader. That sounds like a very Evan Bang kind of shirt yeah, to me. I'm kind of a nerd sometimes, so. <laughs> okay, guys. So again, for those of you that are going to be joining us, we look forward to spending the whole month with you. For those of you that, for whatever reason, can't, it doesn't mean you can't go to work, meeting people, building that community, and doing your own brain dump. Do it on your own. You know, if, if that's what you have to do, don't let anybody or anything stop you from your dream, your destiny, your desire. Just, just don't. I wouldn't. Um, you know, I wouldn't. I put up a little Bon Jovi line on my Facebook wall tonight. You know, it's my life. It's now or never. Um, make a choice. But if there's anything you learn from me tonight, it's work December like your life depends on it. It'll give you flow for the whole next year. You're, the benefit that you will receive from working very hard one month, and like I said earlier, I'm lazy. So I work when the windows come so I can goof off the rest of the year. It's true. It's true. Sounds good to me. 
it's Linda, it's it's a good thing. So, so next year I'm going to be you know traveling overseas, so I have to stack my deck to give me the flexibility for that. You know what I mean? Like I don't know all the stuff about computers and phones and everything there, so I need to make sure that I have revenue flowing you know really well as I do but you know that it's solid so that when I travel I don't have to worry about it I don't have to worry about whether my tuition my kids tuition I got two kids in college guys two kids in college paying cash okay so I have to keep in mind um, you know and Jillian always comes home with mom I need you know I need blank um, you know and she always seems to have a need so and you know, bought two cars in cash I want to do that I want to walk into a dealership and buy a car in cash <laughs> It's Linda. It's the best. I, I got to tell you, it's the third time in my life that I did it. It is the very best feeling because they always say to you as you're figuring out the car and everything, they go, "Okay, uh, let me get you the paperwork for financing. Are you financing through us or do you have your own?" And I'm like, "I'm not financing. It's cash." And they always look at you like, "Whoa." My next deal is I want to buy a house cash. Cash. Just for fun. <laughs> Just for fun. So I think what we're gonna do is fix this one up. Because uh, it needs some stuff, because it's older, and then we're gonna flip it, take the cash out of it, and add some more cash that we have after the kids are through college, and then go ahead and just buy whatever we want cash, and just walk in. I'll be like on the um, on that multi million dollar listing show. Sure. I don't know if anyone watches that on Bravo. I've I love seen it. that. Right. Yeah, million dollar listing, because all the rich people only do cash. Cash and they close. Can we do videos? Like I can wear like fancy outfits and come and be like the realtor guy. I mean, I I can just be it for the show. I'm not. I don't really have a realtor well, life. Why don't you and I be? I'll be the female realtor. You'll be the guy. We can have a war. <laughs> Linda and I can have like a realty war on how we're selling the house in Connecticut. <laughs> right? That'll be fun. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just calling it right now, Linda. I get to drive the Ferrari. I'm just. All saying, right. That's fine. Fun. I'm just saying. I I like to be able to do like Magnum PI references in my yeah, advertising. I into more like an, like a really nice Mercedes or a Beamer. She's classy chick. So I don't see her in a hot rod. Are you a hot rod chick? No, nah, no. Actually, I mean, I what I really like is a Volvo. I I don't know why. Okay, because of the safety factor, you like to be safe. I was gonna say yeah, the safe, safe a BMW. Safe. I like that too. <laughs> or for your your twelve kids. I don't know what. What I'm missing something. <laughs> Volvos are lovely. They're all very, very good. And by the time we get around to all of this, each now they all have um, they have the things where they park themselves and they stop the car if you're going to have a crash. So I figure, you know, we'll be doing the Jetsons thing pretty soon, right? Sounds good. All right, everybody, thanks a lot. I'll check my email in case anybody was looking for me. Everybody who I will see you in December intensive, see you very soon. For those of you that are not, go to work, and I wish you well. And everybody, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving weekend. It is now almost hour and a half to December. I'll see you guys later. Take care. All right. Thank you. All right.